Hi guys, so I'm gonna be sharing with you how I make my Taiwanese style popcorn mushrooms. So these are like really crisp and pretty addictive pieces of oyster mushrooms. And I'm gonna be using some Thai basil leaves. So these are optional but highly recommended. And of course, around half a pound of fresh oyster mushrooms. So I did break apart some of the bigger pieces into smaller ones and just kind of shredded them with my hands. So I wanted to do this because I wanted like all the pieces like more or less like same size where they can crisp up like well when frying. Um, also, it's very important not to wet your mushrooms or anything. I usually just brush off any dirt that I see or like anything since mushrooms do tend to act like a sponge. So if you wash them, they're just gonna absorb all the water. And then we're gonna add in six tablespoons of cornstarch to the mushrooms. And you're gonna really wanna coat this well afterwards around half a teaspoon of salt and afterwards we're also gonna add in one half teaspoon of Chinese five spice so this is like super fragrant and you're gonna want to toss everything to coat and really coat it well because you're gonna want all the mushrooms coated evenly when you cook them and afterwards we're gonna go ahead and heat up a large pot or a pan and add enough oil to submerge the mushrooms when cooking later and once it's hot, you can go ahead and add in the mushrooms so the oil really has to be very, very hot. And you're gonna secretly sizzle and bubble once you add in the mushrooms. So just leave that on for a few minutes and just try not to move it around. So you want it to get a really good crisp and evenly golden brown coating afterwards. So just leave that on to cook. And then once it's a bit golden brown, you can just slowly flip it over and move it around just so the other sides do get a good crisp and coating also afterwards. So just leave that on to cook for a few more minutes. Afterwards, once it's golden brown and crisp, you can just go ahead and take it out of the oil and just drain any excess oil afterwards. And look how golden brown and crisp that is. And then just add in the rest of the mushrooms. So you're gonna need to cook this in batches depending on the size of your pan. So I just did the same for the rest of the mushrooms and just cooked them evenly until they were golden brown and crisp and just took it out of the oil again to drain and yeah. So afterwards I added in the Thai basil leaves. So this part is a bit tricky because they do splash when you first add them so be careful. Also make sure that your leaves aren't wet because they will splash more when you add them in the oil. So we're going to cook the basil leaves down until they turn a bit translucent and you see when they're ready that you kind of like see that how translucent they are. And I just took it out of the oil and left it on to dry and just drain out any excess oil afterward. And then once we're ready, I added in the mushrooms and the plate and then I sprinkled on some onion salt or regular salt just for an added taste and flavor added in the basil leaves afterwards and yeah this is like a really perfect snack and super addictive i hope you guys enjoy this one and stay tuned for more of my recipes thank you so much for watching and you can find the recipe for this also up on my blog the foodie takes flight so see you guys in my next video